In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Authorize.net payment option on MemberPress. Now, before you begin, see our knowledge base to see if your MemberPress plan supports the Authorize.net payment gateway. So, to get started, I have a sample membership site set up here with MemberPress. You can see people have members-only content, and they can get access to that by purchasing one of my memberships, which you can see here. So, if I click Purchase on, say, my Pro Membership, you can see here on the registration page that I have two payment gateways already set up. An option to pay offline or to use a credit card with Stripe. But now I want to add an option to pay with Authorize.net. So going into my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to MemberPress and Settings. Then I'll click the Payments tab. I'll click Add Payment Method. And then, next to Gateway, I'll select Authorize.net. Then I'll give it a name, say Authorize.net Credit Card. This is the name customers will see when they go to checkout, which we saw earlier with my other payment methods. For this video, I'm going to be using an Authorize.net Sandbox account to set up and test this. Sandbox is a way to make sure everything works without actually charging any real credit cards. All the steps will be the same when setting up the live payment gateway on your actual Authorize.net account. So first, I'll check this here, use Authorize.net Sandbox. Now, it's important to follow all the steps I'm about to show you, otherwise it'll result with your transactions not being properly recorded in MemberPress. So these fields here, API login ID, transaction key, and signature key, we'll get from Authorize.net and paste them here. So I have Authorize.net opened up here, and I'm already logged into my account. I'll go to Account, and then I'll click API Credentials and Keys. So right here it shows you your login ID, so I'll copy that first. Then I'll go back into my MemberPress settings, and then paste that here. Then going back to Authorize.net, for the transaction and signature keys, you'll create them here. So I'll start with my transaction key. I'll select New Transaction Key. Then I'll also check Disable Old Transaction Key immediately to make sure I'm only using my new key on my site. I'll click Submit, and I can see this pop up here. It'll take you through a sort of two-step verification, so I'll click here and it sends me a verification pin to my email. Now, I'll pause the video to get my pin for my email. Once I have that, I'll paste the pin here, and then click Verify Pin. Then, it'll let me know that my identity has been verified. I'll click Continue, and I'll see my key that's been generated. It's recommended that you save this key wherever you keep important information. If you lose it, you'll have to regenerate it again. I'll click Copy to Clipboard, then hop back into my MemberPress settings, and paste it here next to Transaction Key. Now, going back to Authorize.net, I'll click Continue, then go to API Credentials and Keys again. Then here under Create New Keys, I'll select New Signature Key this time. I'll check to disable my old one, and click Submit. Then I'll pause the video again to go through the same verification process. Once that's verified, I'll click Continue. Then I'll click Copy on my new signature key that's been generated. I'll go back to Settings and paste it here. And here in these fields, I'll just make sure there isn't any added blank space at the beginning or end of my keys. Now, this next step is really important, so be sure not to skip it. It'll make sure MemberPress and Authorize.net are communicating properly with each other. So here next to Webhook URL, I'm going to click here to copy it to my clipboard. Then I'll go back to Authorize.net, click Continue here, then go down to Webhooks here at the bottom. Then click Add an Endpoint. Give it a name. I'll name mine MemberPress Webhook Endpoint, but you can name it whatever you want. Then I'll paste in my Webhook URL here. And then I'll make sure the status is set to active. And here I'll check this to send for all events. Then I'll click Save. 
So there I go. I've now set up my webhook and authorized.net can now communicate back to MemberPress. Now in the future, if you change your site domain name or HTTP or HTTPS, you'll need to update this or your transactions may fail to track properly. So now going back to the MemberPress settings, now that I've set up my webhook, next I'm going to copy this silent post URL. Then I'll go back to authorized.net, go to my account, and here I'll click silent post URL. Now, while this isn't completely necessary to set up for everything to work, silent post URL is used to capture failed automatic recurring billing or ARB payments. So you'll want to make sure to take this step to make sure that that's working. So I'll paste it here and click submit. Then I can see that it's been applied. So that's it for that. I'll go back to the member press settings and everything's set up now. See our knowledge base for more detail on what these other options are. Now I'll click update options to save everything. And that's it, authorize.net is set up on my site. Now just one quick sort of troubleshooting thing I want to mention that may prevent some headaches for you. If you're testing your site or taking live payments from customers and they're getting some errors saying an email address or phone number is required or something like that, most of the time that could be fixed by going back to account here in authorize.net and clicking payment form, then clicking form fields, and just making sure nothing is set to required, which you could see here. Then be sure to click submit to save it. So if you're getting those errors regarding required fields, give this a try. But if you're not seeing those errors, there isn't really a reason to come in here and tweak any of this. Okay, so now going back to my WordPress dashboard, I'm going to open my website in a new incognito window as to not be logged in as my admin user. So I can view my site as a guest that's not logged in. Then I'll go to sign up and click to sign up for my pro membership. Then here in the registration page, you can see my authorized.net payment option here. Now you can change the order that these payment gateways appear in the edit page for your memberships. Now, before you start using authorize.net on your site, I recommend doing a few test signups with your credit card or friends to make sure everything's working properly. Now, one note about using this payment gateway. If you're using authorize.net for recurring memberships, MemberPress uses ARB to handle recurring billing. So you'll want to make sure ARB is enabled on your authorize.net account. Check the authorize.net website for more information on how to do this. Another caveat about ARB is that when a subscription gets purchased, Authorize.net doesn't actually bill the first payment of that subscription until around 2 a.m. Pacific time on the start date. So as an example, a customer might purchase a membership and set it up at around, say, noon Pacific time. But now they have to wait until 2 a.m. the next day for their payment to process. So that's sort of a strange predicament with using Authorize.net. So MemberPress gets around this by charging a $1 authorization only charge to the credit card that's being used. The charge doesn't actually go through, it's only to test to make sure that the credit card's good. If it's valid, then the customer subscription gets set up and they'll have a 24 hour grace period in MemberPress so they can access the content right away without having to wait for the authorized.net payment to go through. Now, it is possible that even after the customer's card has been verified that the payment will still fail and that user will have some time to access your site without paying. So just keep that in mind, but this isn't really a common occurrence. Now, one last thing I'm gonna show you is testing this payment gateway with Sandbox enabled. So I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard and open my site in a new incognito window. And then I'll go into sign up and click my pro membership and start registering with some fake testing data. Then I'll select my authorized.net payment method. And in a new tab, I'm gonna open the authorized.net testing guide. Here, you can find some test credit card numbers to use. I'll copy one of them and go back to my registration and paste it in. I'll use any expiration date and security code then I'll click to complete the registration. And then here, I can see that my test user was able to sign up. So I'll close this incognito window and go back to my WordPress dashboard as my site admin. I'll go to MemberPress and Subscriptions, and here you can see that test subscription I just signed up for. 
And here in this column, you can see that it's registered using my authorized.net gateway. Now I'll go back to my authorized.net account. And here under transaction search, I'll click unsettled transactions. And you can see the test transaction here. Now it's labeled unsettled because it's a test transaction and not a real one. Again, to fully make sure everything's working properly on your site, it's recommended you do some real tests with some real credit card numbers. When you want to accept live payments, just be sure to go back to your member press settings and uncheck that sandbox option on your gateway. If you set everything up or test out this payment gateway with a sandbox account like I did for this video, you'll also need to redo the verification steps and enter your API login ID, transaction key, and signature key for your live account, as well as the webhook and silent post URL. Once use authorized.net sandbox and the steps have been updated, click update options to save it. You're then ready for live payments. But again, make sure to redo the verification steps that I went over in this video if you're switching from Sandbox to being able to take live payments. And that's it. You've now seen how to set up the authorized.net payment gateway in MemberPress. See our knowledge base for more information or to troubleshoot. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.